Hello YouTube, uh, Schnur Gaming here today, and I'm going to give you guys a little review slash route with the 2002 IC CE200. Um, this is Matt Cop's bus, Matt Cop, pretty good job. Um, I don't have very many complaints on this bus, but I do have one that's on the driver's side here that's a big one for me. Our buses do not have an emergency door in Alton, which that's what this bus is lettered after my school district. Um, so that is one thing I'd suggest you guys probably fixing is maybe making a version with a side emergency exit and a version without that it'd be great and maybe putting the number on the battery on the battery box right there and then putting this number up here and then maybe putting a route changer on the side of the door would be great um i do love the turn lights here let me get on my free camera here well I've been playing farming simulator a lot guys these lights here and um, I think his strobes are a little big like safety liner C2 said but I don't really care about that as long as they work it's not a big deal for me the back of the bus looks great it looks just like RCEs do Except we don't have O2s, we've got O4s, but this is still a part of my fleet. This is bus 59. Now, he did great on that because the O2s have the thing like that. The O2s have the same doors. He did good on the rims, except I'd suggest... I know this is his first bus, but I would suggest maybe next time he pulls his bus up forward, uh, the hood will up forward a tiny bit, so that way the tires can go all the way under. Okay, let's finish reviewing the outside. I think the front of the bus looks excellent for being his first bus. Um, I love this detail right here. Let me change the camera view. This detail right here. Which is great. He did good, great on his cross views and his mirrors. Those are the cross views and those are the mirrors. Okay. Now before I get in the bus, I'm gonna review it. Review the driver's station from out here. The steps are a little plain. I understand this is your first bus, Matt, if you're watching, but the steps are a little plain. I'm gonna have to say that. And I think there should be an option to change the seat tones too because our, our first generation CEs don't have that. Alright, let's do a review by starting it up first. Okay, guys. Let's open and close the door here. I think the sounds are really good on this bus. I like it. Stop arm. I'll have to say he did pretty good on the stop arm because most people have stop arms when they're first making buses and they don't even put a little black thing for it to come out. And as you guys can see, the eight waves are flashing. The red, the yellow, the reds are flashing up there. Show you guys the turn signals too as well. Turn signals are very detailed. Good job, Matt, on that. Let's 
steering wheel, he did a great job on the steering wheel. He made it look just like the uh, first generation C's. Which I call first generation. I don't think it was the first gen. And his windshield is very detailed too. I'd suggest him making it a tiny bit smaller though. Because most of the time they stop about here. And then it's all that space up there. And then he puts a mirror. And then he can keep that storage department up there. I don't know if that's a mirror or a storage department though. And as you guys can see right here on the dashboard. There's a white, a white thing. Sorry guys about the lag. I'm running Farming Simulator now too. I, my laptop's doing pretty well, I'll have to say for... And then as you can see, those are the lights flashing on the dashboard. Alright guys, we're going to take it on a little quick drive. I also got a new recording software too, so if you guys notice different quality in my videos, just comment below. drive it down here to the bus station. That's the horn. I think he did okay on the horn. Sorry about driving the curb there, guys. That was... I'm so used to driving flat noses lately. I haven't been driving a lot of conventionals lately. Okay guys, I'm getting ready to post this on my uh, Roleplay Forms Pro Board, and I'm also going to have an advertisement video posted on all of my personal channels for this bus company. Um, I'm hiring drivers, um, the Roleplay company is called Illinois Central School Bus, because that's who uh, my school district, Alton School District, hires to do the uh, Roleplay. I'm located in Alton, Illinois. The steering wheel is pretty responsive, it's just I've got a lot of lag right now because I'm recording. These lanes are so small on mid city highways. Oh my god, I don't see how anybody drives a bus on these highways.
What the? I keep hitting the curb with my back tire. I'm so not used to. I'm so used to having a lot of not a lot of space and turn because I was driving the short bus yesterday, and now I'm back on a freaking normal conventional, and it's so hard to. It's just despair for my role play, so. Good job on the bus, Matt Cop. Um, I like it. It's my favorite uh, first gen CE on Rings of Rods. That's public, a public CE. Um, it's not really public. You've got to be a member of Alec to get it. Alec Gaming, so. Yeah, so don't ask me for the direct download link because I will not send it to you. Um, you've got to be a member of Alid, but I will link you to where you can get it on Alid. You've got to have an account to get it there off of Alid. Shout out to Best478. He um, is my co owner for Illinois Central. Shout out to Drew Earl of North Carolina Public Schools Roleplay um, for helping resolve an issue on my Zillow channel a few nights ago. That was wonderful of you, and thank you so much for adding me as a contact on Zillow. Okay, YouTube, we're going to finish up a review here. Alright, so, back to the reviewing. These mirrors, this is exactly how they place them on ours, the east. like them like that. The newer uh, 2011 and up CEs, well actually you could say kind of 2010. 2010 still had these style mirrors here. And the safety liner C2s and the newer uh, IC flat noses, they have these two part mirrors like there's a part up here and then there's a part down here. 
My bus uh, in my district that I ride, I ride a bus to school, bus 42. It's got this, it doesn't have these mirrors, it's got the uh, safety on C2 style mirrors on it. And it's got the bus boy cross views, which are high definition cross views. Okay. Belt cutter. I love how we did the belt cutter. Now, Matt, if you're still working on this bus, I think you should put some working switches, like, well, just label the switches. They don't have to work. Just, like, label them so everybody can kind of figure them out better. Good job on the door controller. That's exactly how RCEs have it. Good job on the belt cutter. Good job on the dash. Good job on the shifter. I like the shifter. That's exactly how they look. The key. Parking brake, you can put parking brake on it because that can confuse some new people to the game. Good job up here. Maybe this could stick out a tiny bit further so you don't have to. It's very hard to make a mod. I can understand that. I, I, I can't even do it. So, great job for modding there, Matt. And those switches that are in the corner there, who did a good job on those. Another bus is coming to pick up these students, so we're going to go on another highway drive. My dispatcher just cell phoned me and told me that we can go on another highway drive. Says another bus is coming up here to get them.